Hello and welcome back to Control. In part 16 of Rocket Rabbit Commentary's playthrough, we are cleaning up the psychology department in research in order to find Marshall as part of the Old Boys Club main quest mission. A lot of these corridors have been blocked up by moving walls, kind of like Hogwarts or Labyrinth or some or some stuff like that. Now, as we approach the next control point, we're going to have a lot of fun taking out some enemies, especially forgetting which way we came in. You keep focusing on taking down the uh, his vectors when we don't need to take down the inanimate his vectors. It gives me something to do. Do you even get experience points for taking down the inanimate his vectors? Well, I mean, I might have gotten an achievement for it. It's not yet been concluded. Another intrusive pattern. No, that's the path past Cloud. See, you already tried going the wrong way. There are only two ways in and out of here. Going to Astral Exhibition. Yeah, there's documents in here that you haven't picked. You missed the documents! D don't you want to hear from Dr. Dumbass? Don't you want to read about the Astral Exhibition? Apparently not, huh? TV time! Yes, it obviously is subjective. How so? Yes, it's an actual place, but its appearance is very much subjective to the person that's inside it. No, no, no. Sub subjectivity is that only you can see it. Objectivity is that you can, is that everybody can see it as long as their powers of sight are intact. Okay, it is an objective place certainly, but it appears subjective, as in its appearance is subjective to the individual. That does not make sense. Why? Because be, because it can't it can't be subjective if everybody can see it. Words, Mister Gerdat. Words. We're arguing over what uh, over what constitutes subject not subjectivity in different uh, in different uh, volumes, Mister Cloud. You're saying uh, it cannot be both of these things, and yet it very clearly can. An objective place can appear differently to pers uh, to different persons. Well, all that Doctor Darling is saying, aside from our, de aside from us being able to, you know, have a clear, uniform definition between two people, what a word means, is that the astral plane is not just, you know, it's not just a mind trip, it's not a dream, it's not imagined. It's a physical place that you can enter, exit, put a suit on, kind of like going to outer space. Can you bring scissors into the astral plane? Yes, you can. Now the question is, can you bring the scissors back out of the astral plane? Alright, uh, seizure warning time. Uh, the strobe effect is really jarring. Not quite as jarring as the monster that you don't want to get the fuck anywhere near, but, uh... Yeah, this, this place, uh, probably bears a little seizure warning in the description. I'll have to remember to put that in. Yeah, this fucking thing. You can't destroy that thing. So we You can only get away it? from it. We have to trap it. I mean, it looks like you're still able to deal uh, deal damage to it. Yeah. But what signals? It 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 clearly is an amorphous object. It has no real shape. Kind of like a Boggart from Harry Potter. References. So is it actually repeated. chasing you now, or is it just going? Oh, it's it's chasing me. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound like it's chasing you. Um, is it gone? No, it's still yeah. in there. Yeah, it's still going around okay. the room. Okay, it's still it's still in the room. Warning! Warning! So, how do we trap it, Mr. Cloud? By using doors. Okay, we got its attention. Okay. The, 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 enemy, mu the enemy music is playing. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can but learn it's a not thing. We have battery controls back. It's just going around the room. No, it's it's it, it it has it has to be chasing me. Yeah, it is it is chasing me. Okay. Now, what did that battery control do? It opened up this door. 
Yeah, okay, can't I guess leave we the learned room, something. Mr. Cloud. No, but then it leads back into the room. Okay, so now that we've established that there is a side passage, why is the side passage here if all it does is just lead back into the same place? Well, the emergency siren is going off because, similar to detected radiation, you have to, or, or an open airlock, you have to, yep, you have to shut the door or the alert, or the alert will just keep going. Mm. So you are supposed to, uh, you are supposed to lure it into that hallway, but not, uh, but you need to, uh, uh, but you need to be able to close, uh, you need to be close the door uh, behind you when you go through. Uh, we gotta put ourselves into danger. Oh God, here it comes! Jesus Christ, it's so eerie watching that thing move. It needs to get closer okay. to you than that, Pass Cloud. No, come, come here, you silly Billy! Come, it's not don't, chasing don't be you shy. anymore. Get, get, get your ball sack over here! <laughs> Stupid! I hate you. you. Make me feel dumb because I don't know what to do with you. Well, as President Cloud has already said, we have to trap it, and it's very clearly where it's very clear where we have to trap it. Now we just have to now we just have to success, successfully lure it into the hallway. No, no, no! Now I remember. It's not the hallway we're trying to lure it into. We're trying to lure it into that garage right there, which is right next to the hallway. But the hallway actually is our escape route because we've or we just learned that this thing is not going to follow us in there. It doesn't want to. Doesn't like it, and these strobe effects are, you know, kind of starting to give me a slight headache. I mean, they only do the strobe effects in order to raise the tension by making it difficult to see, but god damn it. God damn it. I'm beginning to understand why you had difficulty with later puzzles, Mr. Cloud. A slow learning curve? Also, other what? battery. I think though they, they usually put more than one battery just to just to kind of idiot proof it. Like, okay, you didn't see the first one, but maybe you'll find the second Except one. Except there are definitely two battery panels here. There are two. Ba oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so what happens when I put the battery panel in? Now you have the ability to close this door from the other side. It made a ding. It's time to sing. And to sing. <laughs> okay, all right. We learned. We learned. Did you learn something? Well, why they put a closing door? Huh? Why, why they? You, are you gonna stop shooting the thing now? Because the game is trying to tell you that these doors are. They, they this game was not designed by dunderheads. Like they put them there for a reason. You're still shooting at Pass Cloud. It's okay. We forgive you. Well, you forgive Pass Cloud. I'm like, it doesn't even have a health bar. And you, as far as you can see, the only thing that shooting it does is uh, cause it to. Uh, Cause it to go into another uh, amorphous shape for a small period of time. Hey, does it make sense now? There's a door on the right. There's a door on the left. Okay, come on, Jeffrey. Finally, into the into the garage. Once it's, it's in here, you have to dash around, Mr. The, uh, Pass the Cloud. Music, the music stops as soon as as soon as you walk in there. The thing starts retreating back to the center, where it just paces around the room in circles. Okay, so, so it likes it when I'm in again. here. Um, okay, here it comes. It took slight damage. Now, before it gets out of the garage, you try trapping it. Okay, very good. You did. You solved the puzzle. Yay! What was the Bureau doing with that thing? It's kind of like Studying the first subspace. Aura Burrows boss from Resident Evil 5. Not as close as that monster came to me. That was scary. There. The Hiss Cluster. Probably going to be one of your least favorite elements in any fight situation. As long as there's a Hiss Cluster in the fighting arena, everybody is going to have a little plus sign next to their health bars, indicating they're getting plus health per second. Yeah, but it's not. It shouldn't be all that much health uh, if you're uh, if you're de if you're decent uh, at um, with your marksman abilities. 
Big issue there is you've got now is the fact that they've got RP no, the, is the fact that they've got RPG units. You are right that they get only so much health per second that just because they're healing over time does not make them invulnerable. You can destroy enemies that are healing health over time as long as you overcome their health bar before it regenerates. Problem is, that's hard. You don't want to do things that are hard. You want to do things that are easy. Easy peasy. Like shooting a guy who refuses to get up Another from his chair. Lift. Yeah, we've got enough of these already. Okay, we're back. Ah, there's the guy. No, past cloud, you're gonna have to get up on their plane. This is why you don't want to have the low uh, low ground in firefights. All right, now use the staircase as cover. A spin grouping efficiency. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Whacked you. I bet that hurt. And it's the whap. Here, let me plug this in. There we go. And last enemy, hopefully. Nope, there's more enemies over there coming in. Okay. Let's see what's on the tube. It's oh more yeah, dudes. I find. I finally did the thing that they advised me to do a lot is, yes, while you're, even before you throw the object, if you grab the object, if it's behind an enemy, the object will actually damage that enemy on the way to you so that you can go for a second hit when you actually throw it. It's very useful for increasing the efficiency of your uh, telekinesis meter usage. Mm, it's a boomerang effect. I've no, I was never all that good with uh, the boom, uh, boomerang affecting uh, enemies in Kirby, which is sad because it's honestly a real, it's honestly really satisfying if you're if you're actually good at it. And Only boomerang I can think of is from uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shards. Yeah. Uh. I don't want to do Kirby and the Crystal Shards, Mr. Cloud. It's not that it's a bad game, it's that it's, a, it's that 100 percenting it is a fucking nightmare. Sometimes you have to draw your enemies into a bad position. Can throw you the waste overcome bin. this obstacle? C come on, throw the waste bin! Thank you. you One man's trash. One man's trash is another woman's projectile. Come on, pick something else up. I want to make a pun out of it. Mm. Ooh! How is this for my three weeks notice? It, it, uh -huh. it hit the wall, Mr. Cloud. I mean, it did actually kill the dude despite hitting the wall, but it hit the wall first. Hmm. Extinguish your health bar, dang it! <laughs> oh, I love it. Bar none. I got you. Mm. Take a seat on this bench. There we go. <laughs> mm, a shield efficiency, ooh. Yeah. I mean, if you were actually well, using shield, that would matter, but... What if I didn't want to use shield? I think it stinks. I mean, I'm personally not that big of a fan of what Shield, what shield uh, does, but... Mm, there we go. Subspace has stopped leaking out into this area. Luck department? How many coins are there, Mr. Cloud? Well, there also are, uh, like, shamrocks, little golden kitties... And in the next part, we are she going to. Her last name. Be safe, everybody. Well, how do these folks know anything? Science fiction.